What's up, fam? Hope you guys are doing well. So today I have a very important uh, thing to share, and it's a research template that you guys can use. So feel free to download it, edit it, to really research the games you want to play, right? So now that NFT gaming is in the full hype mode right now, everyone's trying to get into it. There's a lot of emotions going around, right? So whenever there's like a fad or NFT gaming isn't a fad, but it's more of like the thing that's hyped up. So it's a hyped up fad right now. So whenever there's something like that, people tend to give up their research and they tend to be very emotional to get into a bunch of projects and they throw money without careful consideration to really analyze the project. So here's a list that you can go through. This way you can avoid utilizing your emotions too much, which may cause bad decisions. So hope this helps and let's get through this. So for ranking, uh, it'll be out of one for each one. However, they can get bonus points if it's like exceptional, like really good. If it's pretty good, then they get a one. If it's like fair, they get zero out of one. If it's kind of bad, they get minus one. But if it's like super bad, then, then they get minus two. And for each review, this will probably be biased. For example, I'm really biased towards RPG slash uh, FPS games and more like cyberpunk, like those games from like the Roman Viking Empire, like those kinds of games. I really like those aesthetics, the dark aesthetics. So I'm a lot more biased towards towards games where maybe someone else will be more biased towards like family friendly games like uh, Axie Infinity and stuff. And each of these are just opinions of a random person on the internet, so don't take them literally and financial advice. So do your own research, okay? So the first thing that I wanted to analyze is the team itself of the game. So is the team transparent? Like, do we know their names? Do they have past, in the key things, trackable accomplishments? So anyone on the internet can say, oh, I developed these games in the past. However, can you actually Google them and then find them and play them and see how they did it and stuff? Or on the other hand, do they have nothing that's trackable? Uh, is it anonymous, untraceable, or even worse, is it a like they lied that they created the game, something like that. Second one, you check out their Discord Telegram chats. Are they very helpful and really good moderators that inform? Are they just very toxic and not helpful? Third, does the team do frequent Ask Me Anything interviews? So are they in the public eye like on YouTube, Spotify, etc.? Or is there like none? They don't do any marketing. Fourth one, is there clear development activity, whether it be GitHub or something else, or is it hidden away from the public, which is a red flag? Fifth, are there strong institutional backing? So are there people giving it a lot of money to help make it succeed? So if there are unknown projects in which people don't really back them up, it's easy for them to do a rug pull and just like exit the project right away. However, if there's a known institution that has their name attached to it and maybe they have like a long vesting period so they can't sell out of their all of their investments maybe for like one two ideally like more than that three four years then that'll be super ideal or, or is there like none maybe official sponsorships too by like binance or other chains okay and do they have an awesome community so do you vibe with the community members themselves whether it be all the social media like discord reddit or are they toxic and they're kind of like oh if you don't like us then exit that kind of mentality then that's kind of a red flag then the next one would be great social media engagement so are they active on the usuals like discord do they have their own newsletters uh twitter medium youtube channels covering them other youtubers covering them are they on different exchanges like Binance, the popular ones, CoinMarketCap? Uh, are they growing through Google search? Are the number of active addresses holding token growing? Or are they very hard to find? Then you total that section up, give it a grade. The second one, the game itself. So is it a fun aesthetic game you play without earning? Or is it actually bad and you're only playing it? just to earn or is there a lack of gameplay that's kind of red flag then is it easily playable on all platforms that has more lower requirements still but or is it does it have like super extreme requirements which could be bad too or is it only restricted on pc so ideally be more mobile friendly is it family friendly and advertisable or is it have a very specific niche so it's okay if there's a very 
target niche that is profitable, but if it's an unknown niche or it's like too specific, then that could be bad. Next one is the website clean, not glitchy. You can click through all of it. Is it available in different languages or not? And fifth one, is there a clear roadmap that makes sense and are they actually executing on schedule? So maybe it's said on their roadmap they'll, they'll do X, but then you look at if they actually did it, they didn't do it. So that could be red flag. Then you look at their tokenomic distribution. Is it well balanced? Does it go to like marketing? Does it go to play to earn? Uh, rewards? Then if it's only like 10 to 20% for the team, or is it like 50% for just the team, which could be a red flag. Then expanding on the tokenomics, there's like a cap supply. Ideally, it's not unlimited. Or if it is unlimited, there's like a really good burning mechanism on it. So if the token doesn't go to zero, then are there good vesting periods for investors slash teams so they don't sell it off right away? And are there other mechanisms to earn in, in the game so that it doesn't just rely on new users coming in? And last one, are there, or are there just barely any of these? And next one, it's in relations to its competitors. Are they either the clear leader of their industry or are they undervalued relative to their competitors? So maybe it's a really good game, but it doesn't have the spotlight yet. Or is it unclear? You're not sure where they're at or is it overvalued where maybe they're copying something. So you can see that with a lot of these copycat Axie Infinity clones. Next one, do they have unique, amazing arts or is it a copycat of something else like a graphics engine where they can just make it in like 10 minutes and just say that's their gameplay, but it's really not. And if they are due, are their NFTs cheap slash are their demos being released? So you're seeing their progress on your gameplay. And if they're old, are there constant improvements? Just find the price if it's more expensive slash is a great dip to get on or is it very expensive from the get-go so that's a red flag so usually when a game releases it's better to give nfts out for free so that people can market it for them and it'd be better if it's cheaper so they build a very strong user base but if it's super expensive from the get-go that's a red flag where maybe they're trying to exit early by selling these expensive nfts or are they overhyped right now so maybe it has been a couple months where They've been really successful, but maybe they're very overheated right now where they're constantly breaking all time highs. That's exactly when you don't want to get in. And if you are holding the token, that's exactly when you do want to sell. So it should be the opposite. Wait until there's a dip where not as many people are talking about it and then buy the project if you do like it. All right, third category, it's how to make money with the game. So first one, are there any liquidity pools that's staking? So not only can you earn from the game, but you can use the money you earn from the game to make even more money. That's a big plus. B, do they have one of these categories where they are a high quantity, low quantity approach where you have like a bunch of accounts or something. So maybe it's like Axie Infinity where you can uh, help rent out a bunch of things or access to scholars or, there's a, or is there a low quantity slash high quality approach where maybe it's like a PVP game where you have less characters but the characters cost more money up front. However, you do earn more money per fight. And is it scalable? So does it take up most of your day or are you able to allocate time and energy to other things or to other people for in exchange for maybe like a 50-50 split or something? Or is it somewhere in the middle, right? Where you spend a lot of time and energy, but you don't make that much money. So that's not a good deal to get in. So C, is it scholarship friendly? Can you uh, help rent it out? So you create some win-win situations, that'd be a good plus. Is there a great ROI where you'll get your money back, ideally in two and a half months or less, which is like the Axie standard right now for Scholar? Or is it fair where it's gonna take longer? Or is it worse where maybe it's take like half a year or a year or something? Then E, is there a referral contest or impression mining where you can market for them and then you get some of their tokens in return, such as Twitter, YouTube, etc. or is there none where they don't really facilitate that so maybe if, if the game's like super big maybe that's like they're able to afford not having people market for them but ideally they should then f is there a way you can make money by flipping nfts in market so like your characters weapons skins or anything else related in the game 
Then you got your total slash grade. All right, then we got other questions, which are important, but don't necessarily are common of the other category. So first one's uniqueness. How does it differentiate itself from its competitors? B, what is its future outlook? So what do you think the direction the team is going in, the community is going in? C, adversity history. So there will be problems as crypto gaming is very new. So a good thing you can do is whenever the team encounters a very big problem, see how they handle it. If they handle it really badly and they start struggling to survive, that's kind of a red flag, right? But if they're able to get through that struggle and they become a better team and they just plow through it, that's a really good sign in which you can invest more money. Then possible game failure scenarios. So try to think of the different scenarios where they could fail so that when you start seeing signs of these game failure scenarios, that's when you start slowly exiting the game and reinvesting to something else. Price action technicals, so maybe there are key levels of the game token itself where there tends to be a tendency for it to recover back then. So for example, in CryptoBlade skill tends to bounce around the $30 area. So that would be a great time to swoop skill up. Then AXS, maybe that's around like $50, $40. So it really depends on the game token, which if it reaches that level and you really like the project, then you can buy inside notification, core market cap mobile, it sends you notification to buy and you just buy. Then here's a very important question. Would you personally share or recommend this game to your friends? Would you actually play this game? And if so, if you maybe you don't want to play it, but you think it's actually good, then who would you recommend it to? So maybe you're more of a FPS person, but then maybe there's more like a dungeon style, like puzzle solving where you think it's good, but it's just not for you. So who would you recommend it to? And any other comments, small details you notice, and then you total, total that, and then you combine all four grades into one. So I'm still working on it, on how to grade it, but that's about it. So uh, I'm very excited to start analyzing these different games. So other games I have interest in right now include Defina, Etna, some other ones like Aurora. So all of these like RPG-ish games. But there's a bunch right now, maybe Binomon too. So lots of exciting things coming up. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, feel free to leave a like, comment what games you guys are watching. Let me know if you want any other questions added into this detailed analysis. Whatever games you want to see analyzed and anything else you want to talk about the crypto gaming industry and feel free to subscribe if you want to support the channel and there are other ways to support the channel too you can donate to address so be me prefer you can donate anything so if you donate those are the perks right there five ten twenty dollars or whatever you want to donate just feel free to email the address that you donated from to this email and then you'll get those benefits and then twitter for faster updates right there then discord link right there then these are the broker links I personally use, like Binance, Coinbase to onboard fiat. And you have Webull for stock trading, M1 Finance for that raw fire A, trading view for trading, charting, and all that jazz. So most importantly, these videos are for entertainment purposes and they're not recommendations as I am not a licensed professional. The best investments are the ones where you do your own research by doing your own research and doing it properly, such as utilizing this document right here to go through the checklist, you'll have the greatest conviction and you'll have the biggest diamond hands. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and talk to y'all next time.